Okay. So let's do a show here on uh, rocket launchers in scenario games. I, I know there's a lot of people that maybe never played a scenario game. They don't quite understand how rocket launchers are used or what they're used for. It just, what do you mean rocket launcher? What the hell is that for? Okay. Rocket launchers, here's what they shoot. They either, you've got two different types of rocket launchers that are out there, or three types actually, I'd say. You got the JCS rocket launcher, which only shoots the JCS rockets, okay? Um, you know, th those were the rocket launcher for quite a few years, and here recently, in my opinion, Metadyne came out with a better one, and uh, which is the Havoc launcher. This is the one I currently use. I love this thing. It shoots the Nerf rockets, which, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people say they're out of, the Nerf no longer makes these, but, you see them every now and then when they pop up, they're anywhere between three to $5 each if you do your shopping on them. And then of course, you've got the homemade jobs, as long as they're approved by the scenario producer, um, you know, they're, maybe they're made out of made out of the, the aluminum instead of like the PVC or something like that. You do see the, uh, the, the homemade jobs that are out there, as long as they're cleared, you can use those as well. Most of those just use a little turn, um, like a little uh, a simple on off valve that uh, shoots the rocket out. But okay, so what are they used for when you're out there? They're basically used in the scenario game for either shooting out buildings and you know people that are behind the buildings are out. You can also shoot out tanks. Some scenario games they use, and a tank is basically you know some people use. Sometimes it's a car, sometimes it's a golf cart. Uh, basically, it's literally some sort of vehicle that has been designed to look like a tank or resemble a tank or some sort of vehicle that has paintball guns in it to shoot out. So you know they they come up the trails and everybody runs like hell the person with the rocket launcher can shoot it if it if the rocket hits it and the ref sees it then the tank will go back to the spawn point and then you can continue on with what you were doing when you were out there if you shoot a building where people are hiding behind usually anybody within that particular area of the building is out i mean you can't shoot it at like you know like skirmish you can't shoot at a castle and everybody the whole entire team is out no it doesn't work that way so basically you're basically quote blowing up a certain part of the building and you know maybe 5 10 15 20 people are going to be out that are going to be entered around that certain area some rules also say as long as you're five feet away from the wall you're not going to get taken out or you're five feet away from the object that or the uh, the bunker or um you know cover for whatever it is the wall that you're hiding behind if you're five feet behind that and it hits it then you're not out um that that's pretty much how it works for the most part most rules will say you cannot shoot people with it okay if you shoot somebody it's going to be considered a dud whether it's your team or the other team if you're you know if you're running down the field and a rocket comes sailing through the air and hits you in the chest or hits you in the head or hits you in the arm 99 percent of the time that's going to be considered a dud okay they don't want you shooting other people with this there are also some scenarios that will allow what's called splash damage okay so almost like if you're shooting a mortar they say you have to shoot it up most of the time they don't let you shoot it the, the times i've seen that like a first strike paintball over here in uh, Gainesville, you know, you can't shoot it like a line drive. You have to mortar it. So you have to shoot it up at like a 45 degree angle and it has to come down and hit the ground. Um, but they'll allow, you know, anybody within, you know, let's say 30 feet of where the rocket lands to be out. That's pretty much what you use them for. Now, when you get to the scenario game, you're going to have to get with your general to get the card to be able to use this. Most scenario producers will restrict the amount of rocket launchers that are out there on the field. And that's a good thing too, because as inexpensive as these are, these are right now about 400 bucks, but as inexpensive as these are, a lot, you know, you, you don't want uh, a 300 person scenario game with a hundred rocket launchers showing up, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's just gonna be a rocket fest. And, and even with three to four rocket launchers on the field, on a field of, you know, seven, 800, it can become a rocket fest. So, you know, you definitely see it like at Living Legends in and around the city, that, that is always rocket fest. I mean, you got there, you know, everybody moves into the city, one rocket launcher clears the whole city out, the other team moves into the city, and the other team's rocket launcher clears them all out. So, uh, but that, that's basically what they're used for. They're a lot of fun. I love, um, I bring this out even when I've got, you know, friends come over with their sons and stuff like that, you know, we'll go out into the street and I'll shoot it up in the air and they'll try to catch them. Um, you know, we'll shoot them five, six houses down. They're definitely a lot of fun. Probably one of the coolest toys to have in paintball and they're loud and they shoot, it's like, foosh, you know, when they shoot. And um, you can adjust the speed coming out, you know, uh, especially the Metadyne, it's got a regulator on it, which is really nice. Um, but that, that's basically how rocket launchers are used in scenario games. Not really much use for them in rec play, but in scenario games, you can take out buildings, you can do splash damage, you can take out, um, you know, you can take out tanks with them. And, you know, it is definitely a really cool investment. I mean, if I, had, if I was gonna look at either investing, if I played a lot of scenario games, I was looking at investing into a backup gun or investing into a rocket launcher, I'd probably invest in a rocket launcher because it seems whenever you need it, 
no one seems to have it. You know, your team's getting mowed by the tanks, or or there's that you know you got a whole team that's just holding you down, and they're all you know behind a bunch of cover fire, or you know behind a bunch of forts and stuff like that. You roll in a rocket launch, you clear the whole area out, and you guys can finally proceed forward. So um, definitely a Canadian carnage. You know, the rocket launchers were just death to both teams out there. So I mean, the, the scrimmage lines were moving 300 yards in each direction just based on the rocket launchers. So uh, it was definitely a lot of fun. So. That's what they use our rocket launchers for. My personal favorite one, the one I think is the best one on the market right now is the Metadyne. Um, I know they're a little harder to get, but when you get them, they, they're amazing. And, and you just kind of search around on the internet, search on eBay, and you can find the Nerf rockets, usually between three to five dollars each. Um, usually for a scenario, depending on, you know, depending on, you know, how many days you're going to play and stuff like that, between 40 to 80 rockets should be enough to get you through a scenario game. You definitely want to make sure that after you get shot out, you want to go over there and retrieve your rockets, okay? <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't want to just leave your rockets laying around on the other field. People will take them. I've seen also players that have gotten pissed off at us for shooting, they'll break them in half. So you want to go and, and retrieve your rockets if you get shot out, walk around the field with your, you know, rocket launcher up in the air and go around and pick up all of your rockets. Most of the time, the refs do a really good job of retrieving them and putting them back with the scenario producer so you can just go pick them up at the box, which is, uh, pick them up in a box, which is why I also say if you're going to go out there, you know, use a silver Sharpie or something to mark them so that uh, the other team just doesn't grab your rockets and think they're their own. So that's how rocket launchers work, man. They're a ton of fun. If you play a lot of scenario games, you definitely want to pick one of these up. I'd pick, you know, if I, if I had my, you know, my favorite paintball gun, I was instead of picking up a pop gun, I'd pick up a rocket launcher. You're going to be a lot more useful to your team. And uh, it's definitely a very handy tool when you're out there. Thanks for tuning in.